and welcome to the Amul exclusive on exchangeformedia.com my name is Nazia and with me today is Mr Jayan Mehta MD Amul India Mr Mehta thank you so much for joining us for this exclusive interview i would like to begin by asking you marketers had a tough time last year the market was at an all time low there was recession there was war there were uncertainties yet amul financials showed a very steady growth of 18.4% what were the factors that worked for you we we have uh, our business is built on uh, four five strong uh, verticals one is the fresh product portfolio yeah and uh, the which comprises of milk butter milk dahi uh, fresh paneer and all that stuff so that is that is doing very well exceedingly well so uh, that that's grown by more than 20% the second one is our uh, daily products which is the butter and the cheese and the milk powders and the tetra pack milk and all that so that has that segment also uh, has has seen a very good resurgence in this entire market and uh, in, in product categories we have seen double digit growth coming very very uh, and double digit uh, double digit volume growth coming in a, across the categories and the third is uh, what we call uh, the frozen product division Uh, so ice creams which has french fries and the diet cheese and so on uh, sorry uh, uh, the frozen baby snacks and the frozen potato snacks frozen pizza and all that so this uh, the frozen uh, the ice cream segment has grown very well and we we saw more than 40% growth coming from that segment and then comes the commodity segment so commodity is one business where when we very we have surpluses we try to sell it through uh, our amul daily trade portal So okay. this is a optical portal in which we get buyers from about uh, across the country. More than 2,500 customers participate in our auctions. We do about uh, eight to ten auctions every day, and uh, about in last one year we did more than 2,500 auctions. So that also uh, we we got good market uh, rate. I mean sales and also the price realization was pretty good. And then the fifth one is the international business, the exports. Okay. Uh, we export our products to more than 40, 50 countries around the world. Both commodities and consumer packs, and uh, that business is also growing very well because uh, our products are getting into the mainstream in many cases, the paneer and the ghee and the uh, tetra pack milk and all that. Uh, so that's also gaining we are gaining good traction. We added more countries, and that business also is very promising and is growing very well. So all said and done, all these five uh, uh, business verticals or the pillars of our business are doing very well. one one major trend for our industry is uh, the tailwinds of consumers shifting from uh, unbranded and loose to packaged and branded okay and uh, so uh, post covid people realize that uh, health is very important and for food you cannot compromise okay. so more and more people are shifting into packaged milk packaged dahi packaged paneer packaged mm-hmm. koa uh, all the packaged stuff items so that that's giving us a good opportunity to grow the business in a very big way So you and this year also, and this year, and this year also, we are planning a growth of 20 percent, and the uh, so GCF turnover will increase from 55,000 to about 66, 68, 7,000 crore rupees, and Amul brand turnover from 72,000 crores will go up to 85,000 crores. That's we wish you all the best. <laughs> we are hopeful that you will achieve more numbers. Achieve. So you just spoke about overseas business for Amul. So, uh, uh, so what are uh, which is your other than India? Like which are your biggest markets abroad? And is it only uh, uh, popular amongst Indians uh, NRIs, or is it all, also the locals they consume Amul? See, the main main reason for the brand to go global is the NRI segment because they are okay. familiar with Amul, and that gives us an easy foothold in the market. So mm-hmm. we are if we are exporting to US, we are exporting to Canada, Canada. We are also exporting to uh, Middle East, the entire Southeast Asia market. And also far east, including Japan, Australia, New Zealand, and so on. Okay. So the yeah, NRI market is a very very promising market for us, and that gives us an entry into the market. But having said that, now that we are entered into products like French fries, uh, which which has a huge demand, so we created new markets, be it uh, uh, Philippines, Japan, uh, Middle East, Malaysia. So all these other markets are also there available for us to sell our products. Any other markets that you are likely to enter this year? I'm sorry. New markets that you are likely to enter this year? We, we entered into about twelve countries of Africa last in last couple of years, and okay. we will be adding another five six more countries there. So that's the, I mean, it's all round way of uh, expanding, growing the market, and adding more products in every market. Okay. So you're a legacy brand on television. You know, you your ads are in demand, and people look up to your ads. 
but uh, yeah. now you are also there on digital right so what is mm-hmm. the percentage of business coming from online and versus offline outlets and uh, what are your digital spends like amul is big in digital for a primary reason that we are in business of creating content hmm so that that is where uh, we we get a huge uh, boost in our visibility yeah. and uh, actually uh, with very limited spends i'll put it in a different perspective okay uh, we we uh, the tv programs and tv shows and tv advertising business is known to you we have we, we sponsored master chef this year and uh, we did many other activities on television but in in uh, digital if you have noticed for last 4 years 3 and 1/2 years now post covid during covid downwards uh we are running a very popular show uh, on our facebook page okay. the simple homemade recipes okay and so far so far we have done more than 5100 shows yeah. non stop for last 1100 days with connecting more than uh, 3500 to 4000 shares okay okay and they come and present their content on our amul facebook page okay. and which is viewed by uh, a large number of people in india and around the world okay okay now all this is content available display of recipes in a very unique way uh, live by the chefs and that is uh, huge content for us now that for that we are now then making a insta post reels and uh, also promoting on youtube and so on so okay. this is one small way of content creation i mentioned to you okay having said that we are present in now more than 13 languages in social media so okay. amul page amul pages across uh, uh, facebook insta twitter in uh, 12 indian languages and the 13th one is arabic so okay. we speak to our customers in their mother tongue be he or she may be in assam or bengal or odisha or mm-hmm. uh, andhra pradesh uh, tamil nadu malayali uh, kannad marathi and punjabi uh, even sindhi and uh, we will be soon launching a bhojpuri page also so the best way to connect to the audience is in their mother tongue and that is also giving us a good day. so that leads to enormous content creation because we we do about uh, 3 to 500 posts uh, every month and across multiple languages handles and all that stuff and the third and a very big part of our brand communication is the sports association Okay. so as you are aware we are now uh, uh, official partners of 9 out of 10 ipl teams this year yeah. we were beverage partners of 5 ipl teams last year yeah. we uh, were the uh, we are the sponsors of the indian contingent to olympic uh, commonwealth games last year we'll be doing for the asian games this year yeah. uh, we are official sponsors of the all five uh, wpl women premier league teams for next yeah. 3 years okay and most importantly the uh, we were partner beverage partners to the kabaddi league beverage partners mm-hmm. to the volleyball league and now uh, and you know the most best part of our association last year was uh, with uh, argentina and portugal football teams mm-hmm. during fifa mm-hmm. and argentina went on to win the world cup and all so mm-hmm. all this helps us in create lot of content in digital so it's not just the advertising spend it's the content and the power of communication using the right medium for the right target audience mm-hmm. eat housewife for the recipes to youth for the sports and uh, uh, a general audience for say so this is this is the look upon as a very bold brand you know uh, all the topical issues you have always taken a stand uh, with your utterly yeah. so but that is also that is also the pilot uh, the main fundamental part of our content creation because yeah. the topicals come almost every alternate day and that also gives a huge conversation opportunity for the branch brand so how much has this helped you you know the your your bold stands on all you know uh, for everything and uh, on all topical issues you would be the first one to come out with a you know so, so that, that, that that's a part of this campaign which is on running since last 30 uh, 55 years i know because i ever since i've been on this running campaign yes yes, yes. <laughs> So that means it's just a very uh, marquee campaign, and it's been doing very well because of the power of the consistency of the communication. And the butter girl is free to talk about any single issue and every single issue in India and around the world. So obviously, this is the best thing going for us. So, what is your overall marketing strategy? How is the media mix? Like, if I have to uh, compare it, like so, with the media has to go where the consumers are. Yeah. Okay. so people i mean uh, we are among the top advertisers on television we are among the top advertisers in print we have been the top advertisers in radio we have the top advertisers in uh, outdoors 
So across the medium, we, 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 we ensure that we need to be where our consumers are and the digital strategy already spelled out. So all said and done, I mean, uh, uh, considering that this brand spends less than 1% of its turnover on advertising, we have to work. But if I have to, to ask, like, how much on traditional, how much on digital? So what would be? I have said that the lines converge because when you are doing a master chef, and in a master chef, you run a cheese recipe contest, and <laughs> then a thousand participants come, and you give them space on your Facebook page to participate in a contest, show their recipes, and the best recipes from them are selected by the master chef judges, yeah. and some of them come come get a chance to come on the show. So okay. this is this you is can't good. say to the end here and digital start. Oh, okay. okay. It is all a very, very well con integrated strategy in which you are able to interplay the strength. And end of the day, it's where the consumer is. So consumer is not saying, you know, no, I'm going to watch only TV. I'm going to be only on Facebook and Insta. Consumer does everything all the time simultaneously. And that's how we, we make it a very uh, smooth and a seamless uh, brand and marketing inter integration. So, the, so would you like to speak on the latest thing that you're entering a new market and it has become a controversial issue? So would you like to mm -hmm. talk about it? You, you've been entering so many new markets. Have you seen this kind of a response ever before? <laughs> See, the entry into Karnataka is not new. Uh, as you may be aware, we have been selling Amul milk in Ubli, Belgaon region of North Karnataka since 2015. So mm -hmm. Karnataka entry is not new. Nandini and Amul are both cooperatives. We are not adversaries. We have been bought. We have both organizations work on the same values, philosophies, business model. Both have come out of this Amul model itself. And mm -hmm. we have been collaborating and working together for decades together. Having said that, the entry into Bangalore uh, it was a very uh, cal cal uh, I mean, calibrated attempt to enter the market only to service the niche segment through the e-commerce channel. Okay. We, uh, Bangalore Nandini has a huge price advantage. They're selling the products at about 39, 40 rupees a liter for toned milk oh. as compared to 54, the price mm -hmm. which you pay in Bombay and Delhi. Yeah. So we can't use our price there. We did not undercut it. And our effort is to only sell three e-commerce channels and that to a few SKUs, the toned milk, the full cream milk and the curd. And a select set of customers who are used to buy online can get it. We did not launch it through our parlors. We did not launch it through the GT route. So this is how we got into that. Generally, for yeah. people who have migrated to Bangalore, who, who were used and to buying Bangalore. Even, even, even Canada guys want to try out Tamil Masti, then it's welcome. Mm -hmm. no? So it's not, we are targeting a non-local uh, 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 non, non segment. Oh. Uh, the announcement was made on our Amul Kannada page only. So oh. we didn't use Hindi or Tamil or Telugu page to do that. So but, you're already uh, doing so well in, in all the domains, in all aspects. But what, what would be your five-year plan? Where do you want to take Amul next? No, so we we, uh, we have identified several pillars of growth. Uh, so if we are $9 billion today, how do we add another billion dollars in multi different categories? So the, we identified a billion dollar category, uh, say in organics, which is where our new entry strategies and that's where we are going to, we have launched already eight different products, including Akta, Basmati rice, different type of pulses. We shall be soon launching organic tea, organic sugar, jaggery, lot of spices and so on. So everything you perhaps consume in your kitchen will yeah. be uh, organic. Apart from the Amul range of dairy products, we also have launched oil. And our strategy is to launch oil at 100 rupees price point. Now, this is the first time in India somebody is doing it. The price remains fixed. The volume changes depending on the changing uh, dynamics in the oil market. Okay. So beating the inflation and being assured of a standard price is what is our strategy in the oil space. Otherwise, the dairy business, I, I just mentioned to you. Yeah. And uh, the other, other uh, dairy-related products also, I mentioned to you. Uh, the other vertical we are looking at is protein, in which we are going to lay, uh, launch a range of protein-based products. Oh. Uh, the protein lesson and buttermilk are already in the market. We shall soon be launching protein yogurt, protein shakes, protein water, high-protein milk, uh, pro high-protein cookies, high-protein ice creams. So high are you also chocolate. looking at launching plant-based products? No, we are a dairy-based company, and the plant-based products are uh, organic stuffs. Oh. So there is nothing. So, uh, we, uh, so uh, the dairy business stays uh, as it is, and uh, there is no question of launching the alternate category in the okay. plant-based beverage segment. Okay, and then the third, third one more pillar is the probiotics. So starting now, 
we have a converter entire buttermilk that we sell in pouches across india which is almost 3 million liters a day into probiotic at the same price of say 30 rupees a liter so no change in taste but probiotic quality stuff available to customers around the country at the same price so this is going to be a big revolution which will help strengthen the immunity of our country but if you have, because if you have a strong gut uh, you will stay healthy and uh, you will be more fit so that is one part, portion we have recently done uh, similarly mithai is another category we are working on people mm. have moved out, i mean people don't trust the loose khoa available in the market mm. but there is a huge appetite for indian sweets mm. and uh, so we, have, we 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 already have a portfolio of about 50 sqs of the kaju katris and the barfis and the pedas and the uh, ras malais and rasgullas mm. and shrikhand and so on so we are building on that portfolio also and making fresh mithai available at a very affordable price with the best quality to the customers but all the things will be available online sir or you will also be going retail and op- opening outlets for your mithai and other we, services we we have more than 10000 amul outlets no for the country no no mithai will be sold through the amul parlors okay. and we shall also be selling online so if you are in bombay today yeah. if you order a, a pack of kaju katri it will be delivered on the same day to you so that also experiment we have started and we also starting we have we have also launched a direct to consumer amul channel shop.amul.com in which a wide range of products uh, including camel milk including honey including the organic range yeah. high protein products the uh, energy drink and all that stuff we are launching there on shop.amul.com so okay. that's another way of to reach out to consumers the amul parlors are another way to reach out to consumers we service more than a million outlets Uh, so that is also another way to uh, do it. We are present in all and one format stores and e-commerce channels. Okay. So that's also the way to sell the range. So all said and done, we are looking at a turnover of one lakh crores by 2025, and then we have even enough uh, in a bit and more plans uh, for 2030. So anything else that you would like to talk about that I've not asked? No, I think it's been a very comprehensive question here, and I, we we even covered we covered almost every single thing that we do. Thank you, sir. Thank you for talking to us. Thank you so much. Bye. 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 Bye